Oh, it's a bit frosty out there today. Well, good morning. Now then, I'm building a guitar as part of the Use What You've Got challenge out of some offcuts of a fence that I put up last year. This is a feather edge and this is a bit of Aris rail. Now, I haven't used that bit, but, oops, this is how far I've got so far. Now then, in the last video, I made the bridge and I uh, sorted out the top, smoothed it off and uh, sanded it. Off camera, I've done the bottom. Uh, it was exactly the same as the, uh, as the top, so I didn't bore you with a lot of sanding. So in this episode, I've got to really get down and sort out how I'm going to fit this bridge. I've got to fit some strengthening pieces in the middle of the body here. And I've also got to sort out the fretboard, radius it, stick it to the, the neck, decide whether I'm going to use a truss rod or not, or how I'm going to deal with that, and shape the neck. I've got quite a bit to do, I think. Okay, so I better get on. The first thing I want to tackle is strengthening the body of the guitar, especially for the neck and the bridge. So my idea is to run this piece of uh, hardwood, I think it's cherry that I found from an old um, sideboard, through the whole of the body. And at various points, this is actually not as high as the body, so what I'm going to do is use this off cut here to actually build it up at the front, at the back, and at the point where the bridge is, so it touches the, the back and the front face of the guitar. I'm going to recess this into this feather edge, just a little way. So this will be at the bottom on the bottom uh, face. Uh, then I'm going to mount this on the top, this off cut, just a little bit of it, uh, and just shape it so that it goes with the contour of the guitar. And uh, this, this will be ideal because um, the strap connector there will we'll just go through there into this hardwood. I'm also going to cut another piece off this to fit where the bridge goes and finally another piece at the front there just uh, where the neck is just to build this up so it's the same height as the guitar. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let's get that sorted. There are a growing number of guitar builders also taking part in this challenge and it's uh, great to see what they're doing with what they've got. So uh, don't forget to go and, uh, along and have a look at uh, their YouTube sites. All the links to the channels are below in the description. Right, let's get this set up. I've cut some pieces of wood and now I just need to position them in the right locations. Now then, um, I've fitted this neck template in and just check that the brid bridge position that I'd marked is in the right place, which it is. Um, so to a certain extent I can I can just do this by eye. So the bridge position is going to be about there. So if I mark that with a pencil line, the neck attachment is is going to be in that region. So that's okay. And this back piece, right, let's just mark that line there, that's the centre line for the bridge, put that there, put that on there, that on there, and then just judging this by eye, that looks like that should fit just about there. I've got, I've got a little bit of leeway so I'm not too worried about it being absolutely accurate position that there. Okay so what I need to do now is glue these on. 
because I can't do anything without these fitted. So uh, that's my j next job to do. I found myself a piece of wood to clamp this down, so that's okay. Uh, let's get some glue on there. Apologise again for the background noise, we've got builders in. So, uh, yeah, you're going to hear them drilling. I'm not too worried about the clamp marking the top of this because I'm going to be uh, shaving this down a little bit, so uh, it won't matter. It's going to be interesting to hold this still while I clamp it. It's going to move, isn't it? It's going to move. Should have put some... Uh, cocktail sticks in there. I know what I'll do, I'll get another clamp. That should be okay. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side now. Right, now the neck troubles me slightly. I don't really want to put a truss rod in it, if I'm honest with you. Um, just don't think it sort of goes with this type of guitar. Now then, I'm just slightly worried because there's a, there's a crack in that um, knot there. Now I'm going to be shaving that down, so that might not affect anything. But I'm just not sure how stable this wood is. So what I think I might do, rather than putting a metal truss rod in, I might put a wooden one in. Now then, this is an off cut of maple and I'm thinking that uh, if I do a channel there I can just embed some of this in there and it will give it extra strength and uh, I won't have to worry about the neck bending too much. The route of it is 10mm so I'm going to first of all trim this down on the bandsaw to 11mm and then just tidy it up with a plane. I've also cut it down to 11mm as well, so it can be 11mm square, 10mm square by the time I've finished. Just set this neck up in the uh, routing jig. Oops, that's in the wrong place. To move that. This just holds it nice and tight while I do all the routing stuff. I've got the uh, veneer on the headstock there which is going to raise that end up so not sure how well this is all going to work but uh, let's just see hopefully it'll hold with these two points here. That's done that. Let's see what we've got. What I've done, I've rounded the ends of this, just roughly, just to fit in there. So uh, that should slot in there, that should slot there. Yeah, I've gone a bit too deep with my routing channel, but I don't think that's going to matter, to be honest with you. I think that's going to be okay. Rather handedly, the bit of veneer that I cut off from this piece of wood will actually just lie in the bottom there and uh, make up the gap. So, uh, yeah, it's all by design, you know that. this right into there like so yeah okay let's move all this out of the way first Gluing the fretboard on, first things first, line it up and get some registration pins, these cocktail sticks, in place. Now then, I've lined the centre line up at that end. I've lined it up at that end. I'm going to put a clamp on this. 
hold that steady, do the same at this end. Push them into the holes. Should just help me register it when I glue it. Okay. Okay, here's my uh, fretboard gluing block. Just in case I forgot what it did. I'll get the whole lot lined up. Whoops, moved a bit. I found this clamp rotting in the garden from the, uh, I assume the previous owners of the house had left it there. Not quite sure why. Whew, this is looking good. Okay. Leave that to uh, to dry. Okay, the bridge. Now then, you may remember that in the last video, I did a lot of toing and froing about this bridge, and finally decided that what I was going to do was use some of these bolts in these holes as the string guides. Um, I've since found some nuts which I think I can probably p polish up as round and, and glue into these just to to make them uh, make it more secure anyway so that's the string height issue dealt with but also need to look at the intonation now I'm going to put an angle on this but I do want some movement back and forth and I've been racking my brains trying to think how on earth I can do that and secure the bridge down. Now I know this sounds a bit daft but if you've ever fitted bathroom fittings like toilet roll holders etc you'll know that they come with something that fits on the wall first of all and then you screw the the actual unit onto the fitting and it's sort of got a hidden a grub screw that uh, you, you don't see. Now it occurs to me that I've got a piece of aluminium here which isn't very thick. It's probably, I don't know, a couple of mil thick. It's from an old case of an old disk drive I believe. Um, I'm thinking of, of creating a block there with chamfered sides and then creating a, a channel in this again with chamfered sides to match so that that will sit on there and slide backwards and forwards but it should hold it purely with friction in place and this can be screwed in and the screws countersunk. So that's what I'm going to have a go at. Um, the first thing I need to do is to be able to cut a piece out of this that's going to be quite wide, wide enough I think for those screws there so that it's got a lot of stability because I also need to put the piezo pickup underneath this and I'm hoping that will then pick up the vibration from the bridge there's a lot of hopes here but uh, I think the best thing to do is to cut something out and have a go this is the piezo pickup so let's make sure we can cut something out that's wide enough to handle that that's fairly good there's sort of a, a an indent there I don't want that so I've got to miss that so uh, we'll be coming there and I'll go as far that way as I can
Okay then, so the leaf is going to come in. The leaf is going to come in like that. It's a slight angle so that the base string is is further away than the the top E string, and I somehow need now to be able to slide that back and forth. Okay, so. <laughs> How to do this okay I've put some center marks on this and I've lined the leaf up uh, with the hole with the uh, the holes in the leaf with the line that I've got for the length of the string so I'm pretty sure that's okay so what I'm going to do now is simply mark the top of this the bottom okay so now I draw lines across here this is where the channel's got to be um, it's actually got to be about a millimeter smaller because I've got to create sort of a chamfer that will hold it on uh, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge okay so I need to take away some material in the middle there to make my life a little easier, I'm going to attach it to this block of wood that I can get in the vise. Oh, and before I do anything, Dave, spot the deliberate mistake. I've drawn this on the front, but I've got to transfer the lines to the back. So. Okay, so first things first, I've just checked that that is indeed smaller. Those two lines are smaller than this, which is what I wanted. Now um, I'm going to go across and score those with a knife. And I think I'm going to use a chisel to uh, chisel out the, the groove or the channel. Now then. I need to create a slant a chamfer inside those and I'm going to do that with my Japanese pull saw. Okay, I've got that nice and shaped. Well, I used a Shinto and uh, a leveling beam to just to get it right down at the very end. Um, anyway, so if I put that across there, then that just sits slightly underneath, which will be which will be great because it'll pull it in, and I've got some flexibility there how I deal with that. Now then, what I need to do now <coughs> is uh, chamfer the edges of this piece of metal so that they 
they fit in those chamfered edges there. I apologise about the noise, there's some heavy drilling going on outside. I just need to put a drop of super glue in there just to repair that little break. Okay, I should just hold this for a few minutes until I'm happy that's stuck. I've just run some super glue down inside the edges of there just to strengthen that. I've got I've still got a problem with that little bit of wood there that's coming loose. I think I'm going to glue that on with some wood glue because that's not holding. So I'm going to repair that with some wood glue and I'm going to leave it all to one side I think and then come back tomorrow to finish it.